So some of you guys have been asking how I get these cool shots where it looks like there's a drone chasing me in the golf cart or on my motorcycle or when I'm walking around. I'm gonna show you guys my setup. It's an Insta360 and I just change the position of where I locate it and then I can get different cool effects. So let me show you what it looks like. That's the camera right there. And that goes on this long stick and I can adjust that stick and I can adjust the different angles here. Of course, that's my normal GoPro that I use. The Insta360 software automatically removes that stick. So when it looks like there's a drone chasing me, it's actually that Insta360 sitting on a long stick and I just change the location. Sometimes I'll put it on the back or on down here on the sides to get cool effects, but that's the trick. This model is the 1X2 and um, it's pretty cool. And then I use special software that comes with it to manipulate the angles that I want. It films the complete bubble, so to speak, or the sphere around it. And then you pick which sections you want. So yeah, it looks kind of silly, but I get some pretty cool shots. You know what I mean? So this is a good example of how invisible the stick is. I'm actually going to grab the stick here and remove the clamp to relocate it, but you cannot see the stick at all. In this setup, I'm going to kind of jet it out of the back right side. It'll give the effect like there's a drone flying next to my golf cart. Be aware that it's protruding out so you obviously don't want to hit anything or anybody be careful with this stick in general <laughs> uh, where you point it at but let's try it out and see what it looks like so even though you can't see the stick you can clearly see the shadow of the insta360 stick Here's another way to do it. I just slide it right under my leg there, so I'm kind of sitting on it. And it's a little more sturdy this way. And I'll get a really cool direct side shot of the cart while I'm driving around. So let's check it out. And here I just switched it to underneath my left leg protruding out to the driver's side of the golf cart. The shot that a lot of people like is when I project it from back and it looks like the drone's chasing me. So I mount it right here to the back of the grab bar in the back of the golf cart. Here's the Insta360. I'm going to turn it on. We're starting to record and make sure everything's snug really good.
one thing you want to do is you want to make sure your camera's as center as possible. I'm a little off there, so I'm going to adjust it. Here I mounted it on the left rear corner of the golf cart. All right, so here I'm just gonna walk around with the Insta360 stick and you know show you what it's like just from a pedestrian point of view or sitting here on the bench, for example. And this stick is only, I believe, four foot. It gives the effect like it's way up there. Pretty cool. By the way, in case you're wondering, I filmed this on Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, 2023. So um, here they're getting ready to set up uh, for this evening's you know, events here at Spanish Springs. So that's why the vendors are setting up, but you don't see a lot of people here yet. It was a good time to kind of show off the Insta360. And then as I'm walking around, if I sling it over my shoulder, it looks like it's a drone flying behind me as I walk. In front of me, you get different views. It's pretty cool. If you get an Insta360, you know, have fun experimenting with it. It's pretty cool. So this is the uh, Insta360. Wanted to kind of show you up close here. This is a protective cover it comes with. Of course it comes with cases and all that stuff. So you can power it up from here. It's got all your different settings. It's got this cool little screen you can scroll through and do different things. This is your record button. Here's the two lenses. And if you see there, it's kind of a bubble, right? Well, it takes the two 180 shots and then it stitches them together and makes this cool 3D image. So that's what it looks like. Pretty neat. Let me power this down. And this is your batteries right here. And I got this cool little charger too. I'm gonna put links for all this stuff in the description. This is where your little memory card goes that's it right there and it's you get quite a bit of recording out of this thing i'll tell you you guys have seen my videos i've only used this one card the whole time so that's pretty impressive i always want to put this cover on it because if you scratch these lenses it'll affect the image for life so they also make little caps that go over here but um i just i'm really careful with it so that's that. This is a RAM mount. 
And it's, you know, Ram, Ram makes all kinds of mounting products for mounting stuff, for mounting cameras, GPS, phones, all that kind of stuff with all the typical different attachments we need for our devices, you know. This here is the Insta360 selfie stick or whatever you want to call it. You can see it's a, it's about 48 inches. So it's pretty cool. It's just like a friction thing. It's pretty easy to work with. And it's got the typical threads for mounting it on, you know, a tripod type device or an attachment like that. So this is the setup I use to mount it on everything, the motorcycle, the golf cart, the Jeep, whatever. So that's it. I use the same similar setup for the GoPro. By the way, this is a GoPro Hero 7. So all my GoPro footage and I kind of mix the two together. The, I'll probably do a separate video on the software, although there's a lot on YouTube you can look up if you're really going to get into this. I use basically two programs. Insta360 has its own software, so I prepare all the 360 footage through that. And then I take the GoPro footage and the Insta360 footage and I bring it into a program called Camtasia. And Camtasia is where I do all my final editing for the videos that you guys see. There's probably much better software than Camtasia, but it's just easy for me to use. So quite honestly, I recommend it for ease of use. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll put links to all these products in the description below. And I appreciate you guys watching the videos, liking, subscribing, sharing. I really hope to grow the channel and give you guys some interesting content. But uh, thanks again. Take care of each other out there, and we'll catch you on the next video. All right, see ya. Bye.